And now, said Father Armand, is where I enter the story. The battle between Hun and Roman was fought at the end of June 451. The Romans were commanded by Aetius, a brilliant and celebrated general who had been held hostage by the Huns when he was a boy. Aetius knew Attila, and he knew the Hunnic ways. Since he had returned to the Western Empire, Aetius had done more than any man to keep Rome alive throughout the period of barbarian invasions. His army was not large enough to face Attila alone, so Aetius convinced tribes of the Alans and Visigoths to ally with him. Even though these dubious allies had a common hatred of the Huns, it was still a remarkable achievement on Aetius' part to have drawn them into an effective military relationship. The Huns were eager for battle. Attila's shamans looked at the entrails of cattle and the color of sheep bones and prophesied that the Huns would meet defeat on the Catalonian fields. However, they also foresaw that the commander of the opposing force would be killed. Attila must have thought this a fair trade, because he brought battle to Aetius and the Goths. Before blood was drawn, Attila stood before his assembled troops, clutching the Sword of Mars in his fist. He told them, it is a right of nature to glut the soul with vengeance. I shall hurl the first spear at the foe. If any man can stand at rest while Attila fights, he is a dead man. Bilim ban. Barlachun. Zaza. Barlachun. Attila, you brought us to this accursed battlefield. Now you must keep the Romans from killing us all! Timo. Be 
him by Poor and attempt him to church. Timo. Amor Mindu, Pitan Bajan, Timo, Pitan Bajan. Chung, <laughs> with the blood of Visigoths and Romans. Timur, 
Tschüss. Ich brauch's mal, ja. Za, za.
Ini mu. Baru jauh cung, bikin bad. Baru jauh cung. Amor mindu. Baru jauh cung. Amor mindu. Baru jauh cung. Baru jauh cung. Baru jauh, baru jauh cung. Ini mu. Baru jauh cung. Sakar. Baru jauh cung. Sakar. Baru cung, amur mindu, nanti dicek. Sekar, baru cung. Timu, bikin baik. Dasur cung, urha cung. Timu. Amor Mindu.
байна. Барилгач юм. Барилгач юм. Барилгач юм, барилгач юм. Захир амар минь дөө. Тийме барилгач юм. Мэдэн байна. Би болгоо юу?
bad. Amr Mindu, Zecher, 
Bari Dokcho.
catastrophic battle, one of the largest and greatest the world has ever seen. The stream was turned to a torrent by the rushing of blood. I pity those that were forced to slake their thirst from it. Cada vera vero inumera, the Romans said afterwards. Truly countless bodies. Perhaps 300,000 men were left dead on the Catalonian fields. It is said the ghosts of those killed continued to fight for several days. I passed within inches of the fell Hun King as he stalked the battlefield, trying to determine which of his chieftains and allies yet lived. When he found me, huddled beneath my shield, I made my peace with God. But Attila did not seek my decapitation. He saw that I was a holy man and ordered me to join his retinue of foreign advisors. That is how you know so much of the Huns, I offer. The priest nodded. Despite the carnage, the outcome of the legendary battle was unclear. Attila had lost much of his cavalry, but the Roman army would never recover from its losses. For a time, no one knew if the Hunnic king would continue to pursue the hand of Honoria. But what of the prophecy, I asked? Did Aetius die on the battlefield? Nay, it was Theodoric the Goth, not Aetius, who died and fulfilled the prophecy. Aetius knew that if he utterly destroyed the Huns, then the Visigoths would have no need for a Roman alliance, and Rome would face yet another barbarian threat. And so, Aetius retired from military life, hoping that the outcome of the Catalonian fields would leave the Huns and Goths in a stalemate. He hoped he had done enough to save his empire. He had not. 